In this video, I'm gonna show you how to put in disable points for the EST3 fire alarm panel. Uh, this panel currently has disable points, as you can see here. So we have disable horn strobes, disable door holders, disable elevator recall, disable elevator shunt, disable fan control, and disable FSDs. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disable floor by floor. So instead of using the disable horn strobes, which does all horn strobes in the building, I'm gonna show you just how to do individual points. So if you just wanna segment out one floor at a time, so you could test floor one by itself or floor two by itself as an example, versus having the whole system active or inactive. So currently I have one trouble, just because I have my disables active, that's why you see the flashing lights. And if I go to my monitor, I have all six of these buttons currently active, so they are disabled. So just to show you that. But what I'm gonna use is this list here of all the disable points. And what I'm gonna do is just for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna do floor one. I'm not gonna do all the floors. So floor one has one, two, three, four, five. On to the left here I have the five different module numbers corresponding. I also have floor two, floor three, floor four, some garage stuff as well. But just for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna show you floor one. So what we're gonna do <clears throat> is first go into our menu. You have your command menu button here. I'm gonna press that. You get this menu here. Uh, you don't need to worry about every little thing in the menu. I'm just gonna show you what you need to know. So I'm gonna hit number three, because you see on here, number three is disable. That's what we're doing. Hit number three. Now this menu here, we got a bunch of other options. Again, I'm just gonna show you what you need. You're gonna go to number one, which is device. So I'm gonna hit number one. Now it's gonna ask me for that module number. So the zero one's always gonna start out. The second two sets of numbers are CC, that stands for card. And the last four digits are Ds for device. So zero one's already there. I'm gonna put in the CC and the four Ds. So if we go to 0102, 0158. So these are basically the five that I'm gonna do. All right, just the first floor, right? So the first one is 0102, 0158, and that's gonna be the first floor booster. So I'm gonna put in, there I got the zero one. I'm gonna put zero two, zero one five eight. I'm gonna make sure my number is correct. Then I'm gonna hit the enter button right here, which is this little arrow. It's gonna ask me for a password, access level two. The access level two password is four two. So I'm gonna hit the, the number two button four times. And you're gonna see the symbol changes I do it. There's the first two, there's the second two, there's the third two, there's the fourth two. I'm gonna hit the enter button here again, this half arrow. And now the panel indicates I have a new trouble. So I'm gonna hit panel silence. And just to show you the trouble, I'm gonna hit the command menu to go out. I'm gonna hit the trouble button. And you see I have my original trouble, which is just letting me know I have disabled buttons. And then I hit the trouble button again, and now I have first floor booster panel. IDF number one zone three trouble. And just to make sure the number's correct, I'm gonna hit this details button, which is right above the command menu. And it's gonna show me that eight digit number. It's gonna be 01020158. I'm gonna go over to my number list. And I'm gonna see that first that first set, 01020158, first floor booster panel IDF phone zone three trouble. So that's correct. So now it's gonna hit the command menu to go back out and I'm gonna put in the other four troubles and that way we will have isolated floor one's horn strobes. So I'm gonna go command menu, button here, go into the menu. I'm gonna do number three, hit disable. I'm gonna do number one, hit device. And now I have the eight digit number again. So zero one, then the CC, CC's for card and the four D's for device. So I'm gonna do the second one. Do zero one zero two zero one five seven. So it already has a zero one. So I'm gonna put zero two zero one five seven. Then I'm gonna hit enter. And now I have another trouble. And now I'm up to three troubles now. So I'm gonna panel silence. Now if I put in consecutive signals, 
the card's already going to stay at 0, 2. So I don't have to put that in each time. So I'm only going to have to put in the last four digits of the module. However, if I needed to change the card, let's say the card number instead of going 0, 1, 0, 2, like it is, if you see all, all first floor uh, numbers, 0, 1, 0, 2, all the way down, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, 2, all the way down, right? So it's all the same for what I'm going to be doing. So I don't need to change the 0, 2. But if I wanted to, I can hit this back button. So right here's the enter button, here's the back button. And you can see it, it goes 0, 1, 0, 2, I'm going to press it once. Now it turns into a C. The two turned into a C. And then I hit it again. Now the zero turned into C. Now I could put in a new card number. Let's say I want to put zero three, right? And then I put in my four digit uh, device number. Or I could hit back and I could go zero four and I could put my device number. So depending on what your panel's uh, module number is, you can change it just with the back and the forward. So all of mine are zero one zero two all the way down. So I'm going to put zero one zero two. And then I'm going to come over here and go to the third one. 0102-0154. Zero, I already got 0102, so I'll put 0154. Check my number, hit enter, takes a trouble, now I have an additional trouble. Now I'm going to go to the next one. 0102-0155. So the 0102 is already there, so I'm just going to do 0155. Five. Then I'm going to hit enter. Took that one. Now I have five troubles. And then I'm going to go 0102-0156. And that, and that will be the last one because the next one is second floor, so 2FL. We're not doing 2FL, we're doing all 1FL for one floor. So I'm going to do this, my last one, 0102-0156. 0. One, five, six. Let me hit enter. And now I have six troubles. So now if I hit my command menu, I'll go out to my screen again, hit the troubles to scroll through. Again, I have my first trouble because I have this disables here. We're just ignoring that for now. Then I'm gonna hit my first one. It says first floor booster panel, IDF one, trouble three, or zone three. First floor booster panel, zone two trouble. First floor booster panel, zone six trouble. First floor booster panel, zone eight trouble. First floor IDF booster, zone five trouble. And it goes back to the start. And if I look at my descriptions over here, the first one was first floor IDF, zone three trouble. Then first floor booster panel, zone two trouble. Then first floor panel, zone six trouble. First floor panel, zone eight trouble. And then IDF booster, zone six, tr five trouble. So those were the five modules that I put in. So now the first floor audible circuit is disabled. So if I were to sound the alarm, the other floors would go off in the building, but not the first floor because I have it disabled, right? And we're just ignoring these disabled buttons right now. I'm just pretending that we just have these, these disables for these floors. Now, if I wanted to go back and enable those points, because now I, and, uh, I want to test the first floor. So I need to enable those points so I can test the first floor. So I'm gonna go back to my command menu. And this time, instead of going to number three, which is disable, we're gonna to go to number two, which is enable. So we're gonna hit number two. And then we're gonna get our second screen again, our next menu. I'm gonna hit number one for device. So now we're in the enable menu. I'm gonna hit number one for device. And then I'm gonna follow the exact same process in reverse, right? I'm gonna enable all these points now. So I still have the zero one CC, CC for card, and then the four Ds for device. So I'm gonna to go to my first point, my 01020156, which is my first floor booster. I'm gonna do all five of these points to re-enable first floor. So let's start with 01020158. So I'm gonna put 01, it's already there. I'm gonna hit 020158. I'm gonna we'll check my number, my number's good. I'm gonna, oh, five zero. So I didn't get that, or no, I got that eight. There we go, I got that eight. Eight and zero looks too similar. All right, so I'm gonna hit enter. So now look at my troubles. I'm at T6, I hit enter, now it's T5, right? Because one less trouble, and then my my D's reset. So my number went away, but the 0102 still stayed. So now I'm gonna do the other four on here. Again, I don't have to redo the 0102 part because it's already there, unless I exit out the menu and then go back into it. But since I'm still in the enable menu, I don't have to redo that. So I'm just gonna do the last four digits. 
zero one five seven. Go zero one five seven. All right, there's a number. Watch the T, it says zero five. I'm gonna hit the answer button here to acknowledge my uh, enable. And now it's T004, so one less trouble. All right, I'm gonna go to the third one. 01020154. So I already got 0102. I'm gonna go 0154. Check my number, number's good. I'm gonna hit the enter button, and now I'm gonna have one less trouble. Now it's T003. Okay. I'm gonna do my last two on here. So 0102, 0155. So I'm gonna do, I already got the 0102, so I'm gonna put 0155. Check my number, if the number's good. I'm gonna hit the enter button here to acknowledge. And now it goes down to two troubles, right? So now we've got one trouble left we gotta clear. So come all the way down, the fifth one right here, 0102, 0156. I already got 0102, I'm gonna put 0156. Got the number there, hit the enter button. And now I'm down to one trouble where I originally started at, one trouble. So I'm gonna hit the command menu, and I'm gonna hit the T, or the trouble button here, to scroll through the troubles, and I only have the very first trouble before we started, the one or more devices are disabled at PA, right? These are these buttons here. Again, these are not part of the video, these are just part of my normal test, right? So I have cleared, I'm hitting the button, the first four troubles are no longer there, I've cleared the troubles. So now I could go ahead and test the first floor uh, horns and strobes for the building. So that is how you go through point by point to disable on the EST3 fire panel. Keep in mind that depending on how the boosters are uh, laid out in the building as well as the wiring to the units, they may be vertical or horizontal. Horizontal meaning if you disable all the boosters on the floor, that floor is disabled because the wires run horizontally from unit to unit. If they run vertically like up through floor one, floor two, floor three, you would only be disabling a section of that building, like through the corners, like let's say a corner of the building or the middle of the building. You wouldn't be doing the whole floor. So I'm not gonna get into all the wiring diagrams and stuff like that, but just keep that in mind. But this is how you go through and disable the points. So for this building, it's wired horizontally. So when you disable all five of those first floor booster panels, that means the entire first floor will be silent now. So I can do all my other testing. And now that I've enabled it, now I can go ahead and test the first floor. And again, the way this is laid out, if I wanted to do any of the other floors, I could do one FL for one first, first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, garage, or front street level, right? I can do whichever floors I want. So this video, I'm not going to do all of them because that's a lot of points. I just wanted to show the process and how you disable. And that is the, uh, the easy thing to do. Um, or you could go to the booster panels and disconnect the wires. I think this is easier if it's laid out properly. But again, this is how you would uh, disable the points. Uh, floor by floor or, or booster by booster for the NAC circuits for the EST3 fire alarm panel.